Hi everybody, Dinah here from Dinah Marie Photography. Um, there's been a lot of conversation lately about best practices when it comes to bringing your files into your computer, what you should be doing uh, for backups, how I kind of move my files around, so I thought I'd take an opportunity to explain to everyone what I do. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar, I shoot with two cameras at the racetrack, a Canon 7D Mark II and a Canon 5D Mark IV. I write to both an SD and a CF card. Um, some races I will actually write both a RAW and a JPEG and I will write to each card so I will sometimes write four. Um, that's if I have to do something quick and I need to get JPEGs out immediately. If it is a race where I know I don't have to have things out right away, I just write a RAW to each each card. Um, I am very worried about losing information so I definitely like to have both. It is a big deal to me that I am writing the file twice and sometimes four times. So that being said, as soon as I get back, what I do is I, I put the SD or the CF card and I import them into my computer. And what I do is I open up the file through the, the card and I copy and paste into my file server. I don't like Lightroom to do it on its own. I, I, I like to like know where everything is. I like to have very easy to find files for myself later. So what I'll do after I'll copy it off of a disk, I will come in and I will rename a night. So we're going to use uh, April 27th. So what I do is I put all, and I normally shoot about 1,200 files, um, put them all in here. And after they all import, um, that's going to write to the main side of my file server and do a backup to the other side. I also back up to Carbonite and I back up to Amazon Photos. So I have three different backups plus there's backups of the JPEGs when they are finished when they go into my website. I am very, I, ha I have had failures on my on my uh, portable devices. I've had failures a few different ways and I've never lost files because I have them kind of everywhere and it might be overkill but it's important to me to still have these files later on. So after I do that I'm going to import them into Photo Mechanic. I found Photo Mechanic is the fastest way to call through photos. So what I'll do is I'll open them up and I edit in, not edit out. So I pick all of my keepers. And so any of the files that I like, this one is, is not great, so I don't click anything. Um, this one isn't good, so it's not a keeper. You know, I like this one, so I'm gonna edit it, you know, pick it to select. So as soon as I'm done there, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select color class and whatever color you use. Um, I'm going to select those and then what I do is copy and move and this was the super cup twin and then I'll call it the keepers file. So I'll hit copy and those will all copy over. Um, I will then, so that's going to rewrite another file in a subfolder. I put it in a, a subfolder of the original. Um, so after I do that, then when I go into Lightroom, I'm gonna go into the import tab and these have already in, been imported. Uh, I go to import and then I, I find the folder and find the keepers folder. As you can see, um, some of these have done a better job naming. Uh, these make it easy for me to find. I import with one of my custom-made presets. Um, so they all come in somewhat ready to go. So when you go on the develop tab, I don't have a ton of work to do to all of them. Um, as some of you know, my process is a little more all over than most people's. Um, I definitely do more editing than most people and, and, and we can do that on another video. Um, so after I get them all in here and of the 1200 I shot, I did edit 292. Um, I will select them all and then I do an export again and then a subfolder for social media. Um, I set the long edge to 2048, I do resolution at 72, and this one I'm going to put a watermark on it. So when it exports, it is, I feel the correct size for social media. They are still decently sized photos, so some of you might want to go smaller if you're really worried about someone printing from the internet. Um, mine are going to be kind of the max size for our social media. So those export 
uh, those are the ones I use on social media, which I tend to try to share less than 40. Um, I feel that I want to drive people to my website. After those go out, I will come back up, um, do another folder for full size. Uh, I will not resize. I'll go to 300. I don't sharpen for anything. I know some people do. That's a personal decision. I take the watermark off and then I export again and I will export them all. Um, my next step is importing them into my smug mug, uh, the full size files. So then I have another backup again of the, the finished JPEG. Um, I kind of have copies of these everywhere. And again, it it could feel like overkill, but I really, I think my carbonate isn't that expensive, maybe $150 a year. Same with the Google. Um, I think I paid $1,200 for nine terabyte uh, external, or uh, a file server. Um, I, I just feel like I would rather be safe than sorry, and it's not that expensive, and, and some of it I feel it is the cost of doing business of being a professional photographer. So that is how I do my best practices. Um, I just think that it works out the best. I've, I've Like I said, I've, I've had external hard drives fail, but have had the files other places. I have not lost anything in the three years of shooting. Um, I have had an SD card go bad, but I had the CF card in there. I just feel like this is all extremely important. Um, to do what you can do to put yourself in the, the best ability to not have failures. So that is my processes of importing and exporting and you know everyone does what works best for them but this is what I have found has worked best for me. Um, in the next video I'll go over some basic editing that I do and thanks for watching.